I'm sorry, this is nothing personal. It's just what I'm doing today. This is no big deal, it's fine. Just because I'm ranking you doesn't make you any less important to me. You know, this is just what happens when you run out of ideas. You just sit here and rank your Doc Martens collection from best to worst. Oh hi, welcome to my channel. You're probably confused. You didn't subscribe to a shoe review channel. What am I doing? Am I going through a crisis? However, I'm fresh out of ideas. Like, I'm so out of ideas. Not necessarily out of ideas, but kind of out of like, time to do any kind of like complex things. So I was looking on YouTube and apparently Doc Martens collection videos are a thing and I have a Doc Martens collection, so I'm just gonna make one. But I wanted to throw out a little bit of an interesting twist to this video, so I got all of my Doc Martens out and I ranked them from my least favorite to my most favorite. You know, spice things up so it's not so boring. So conveniently, I have 10 pairs of Doc Martens, so this is kind of like a top 10 best and worst Doc Martens video. Also, if you are watching this, make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button because it helps me a lot. Also, consider subscribing. I post here every single Tuesday and Friday. All right, now on to the list. Coming in at number 10, which technically speaking is my least favorite Doc Martens that I own, are the Winstead Canvas in Navy Blue. This shoe I got from Nordstrom Rack, actually. It was like 30 bucks. Generally speaking, it's like a fashionable shoe. I like it. I get compliments on it. Kind of like a sneaker Doc Martens hybrid. It's very like lightweight, um, but also gives you some additional ankle support. It's very nice. And however, this shoe is so uncomfortable. Oh my god. I, the most I've been able to wear the shoe is for like an hour and 45 minutes and I had to run back to my car and take it off and drive home like barefoot because it just was so uncomfortable like it hurt my foot so bad I've never worn a pair of Doc Martens that are as uncomfortable as these I don't feel bad about saying that because I don't even think they make like this particular one anymore I don't know if this is because I still need to break them in more if this is an issue of breaking in the shoe then I'm literally never gonna break it in because it just hurts that bad ah <sighs> this next one this next one hurts my heart to put down here however this is the 1891. This is my only pair of platform Doc Martens. And overall, like generally speaking, this shoe serves. This shoe gives you looks, okay? This shoe, when pulled off right, looks so good. With all this added sole, comes a lot of extra weight. Like this is a heavy shoe. This shoe has some girth to it. So with that heavy weight, it almost feels like I'm wearing like the iron boots in like Zelda. I move at such a glacial pace when I wear these shoes and it's annoying because I am a speed walker. And so when I'm just like moving at everybody else's like normal tempo pace, it's not fun. It's not a joyous experience. For Instagram looks, things like that, this shoe comes in hard. This is a statement piece. I love this shoe so much, it's just down on the list because it's not very practical for everyday use. I also, when I wear these, I become like 6'5", which is absolutely incredible. I love towering over everybody. This next one is actually another pair of Doc Martens that I got from Nordstrom Mac, and this is coming in at number eight. This is the, uh... Oh my god, what is this called? Something in military canvas, and they don't make this shoe anymore, so it's fine. You're not even gonna be able to buy it. I like this shoe, I genuinely do. I think it's a good shoe. It just has the classic Doc Martens silhouette with the kind of weaved texture. And the reason that I have this shoe placed down pretty low is because of the comfort. Once again, when I wore the shoe for the very first couple times, when I took it off after a day of wearing it, it left a bruise across like the top of like the bones on my foot. Not cool, not okay. Like this band right here is sewn so tight. So comfort wise, these are like a negative seven. Like these are just terrible comfort wise. I do really like the kind of like rugged teeth on the sole. I think that that's a nice touch. And overall, I like the look of this shoe and it hits hard when it goes perfect with an outfit. Like also the laces hate them. I said that in a previous video. I hate these laces, but I keep forgetting to change them. If they were black, they would honestly just look so much better. <sighs> this one also pains me to say, this is the Fort, is it 1490? And this is just the low top kind of traditional, like this is like a very Doc Martens silhouette staple. Everybody who has a Doc Martens collection has these. And the reason that I actually have these so low is not necessarily anything to do with the shoe. I actually really like it. Um, however, these were my second pair of Doc Martens that I ever bought. And so my first pair that I got, because I'm half size, so my first ones are a little too big for me. So I was like, oh, I want these to fit nice and snug. So I got a half size down. I got the, I, they're just a little bit tight on me and they're not very comfortable to wear. I, I really do like them, but they're 
they're just a little low because I messed up on the sizing. Coming in at number six is another Winston canvas, and this is in black. I put this number six just because I'm pretty indifferent on the shoe, honestly. It's not the worst thing, it's not the best thing. I kind of overlook it because it's black and currently in my Doc Martens collection, five of the shoes that I have are black, including this one. So typically it just will kind of overlook it. They're not like super boring. I like the yellow stripe, but other than that, they don't really have a lot going for them and they don't give you the added like height bonus that Doc Martens do, so, but they're fine. I do like these and these are good, probably more for the summer months. All right, moving on to number five, six, five, whatever. It is the Doc Martens Tate Richard Dad collection. And this is, this one, I actually really like it. I love the history of the art behind it. I actually was able to find this. Here's a little mini art lesson of the day. He was actually institutionalized in an insane asylum and, you know, he, and he painted this painting and still to this day, not a lot of people actually know what it means. And there are several interpretations of it. That's the painting that's on the shoe. It's arguably one of his most famous paintings. It's very intricate. You can see different people and flowers and just all all kinds of like really cool things. The reason that this is put at number five is because people think that this is camo. So many times when I have worn this shoe, people have come up to me, total strangers, and been like, where are your shoes at? Like, you know, making that joke. These aren't camo, you uncultured swine. These are like an art piece, but like number four, this is an interesting shoe. I forgot what style sandal this is. I'll like put it here. These, um, I actually love these. These are, first of all, they're comfortable. This is more for like summer wear. I know that they advertise these a lot for like festival fashion and things like that. I'm not going into any music festivals because I have crippling anxiety. But these are just good for the summer months. I wear a lot of black in the summer anyways, but I don't really wear Doc Martens because like I'm not crazy. So I definitely look forward to wearing these over the summer and just getting some nice gnarly tan lines on my feet. Coming in in third place, I actually messed this up. This would probably be first, but I was stupid. This is the Doc Martens 1460 Orleans and Butterscotch. This was actually in my yearly favorites video and I love this shoe so much. Now it's looking a little rough because at the beginning of this month, I actually went on a nice little road trip to just the middle of the mountains, honestly. And I was taking pictures, I was walking, there was this little stream. And so I wanted to get some pictures of these in the stream and they were long exposure shots. And so I got these very wet. And unlike the black Doc Martens, which I have worn in water before, um, these did not dry in a totally the same way as they were before. So there is a little bit of water wear on the sides you can't really tell I just love these shoes I wear these a lot they like these go with everything all right coming in at number two this is the Tate collaboration William Turner I think that's the name this was the previous one to the Richard Dad collection which which was previous in this list and the reason that this one is ranked higher than the other one is because just look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Like that is art right there. I've worn these quite a bit so that the actual, like the paint that they use has begun to chip off and that's actually normal and it's intentional because everybody kind of wears off in a different way. So each one ends up becoming kind of unique. But oh my God, when I wear these, I get so many compliments. They surprisingly go with a lot of things. They're comfortable. Nobody thinks they're camouflage. And last but not least, my final, my number one favorite Doc Martin. Probably if my closet was on fire I, and I had to reach in and pick one pair, these would be it. And these are just the traditional black 1460s. For my very first pair of Doc Martens ever getting, I saved up for I think six or seven months to buy these because I like, I was like a sophomore in high school and I was just doing like summer work. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've had these for a really long time and they just age gracefully. I do take care of them. These go with everything. You can't find an outfit that these won't go with. Um, I wear these basically all the time and I have for like the past four years. Like if you're gonna buy any pair of Doc Martens, 10 out of 10 buy these. So there's my Doc Martens collection. I hope that you liked the video and I hope that this was a little bit more entertaining than me just sitting down and talking about each shoe. You know, it was kind of fun. I was able to talk about the pros and cons of each shoe. It's definitely the ones on the lower end. There were a little bit more cons, but again, I love those just as equally as my other ones, except I just ranked them. But you, you get the point, you know? I appreciate them. They're great additions to my collection. There are just some things that are wrong with them. That is all for my video today. Thank you so much for watching if you did make it this far. Tuesday we will resume back to 
normal programming when I think of some ideas. But if you did like this video, make sure to go down there and hit that like button and also consider subscribing. Again, I post here every single Tuesday and Friday, so it would mean a lot if you would come back. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go now. Bye!